The easiest way to completely train wreck your saxophone playing is by using the wrong gear. So today I'm going to go over three really big mistakes that sax players make when they are choosing their gear. The first big gear mistake that saxophone players make is using equipment that is not meant for your playing level. So this goes out to the beginner and intermediate saxophone players, and it usually applies to your mouthpiece and your reed. Let's start off by talking about mouthpieces. When it comes to mouthpieces, there are a ton of varieties. But if you're a beginner or intermediate saxophone player, you don't want to start off with a super high-end mouthpiece. And the reason for that is super high-end mouthpieces are built a specific way to give you a specific sound. And oftentimes, as a beginner or intermediate saxophone player, you don't have the control over your airstream to make the mouthpiece sound the way it's supposed to. And a lot of times, it will make you sound bad if you're not putting the air in the mouthpiece correctly, especially if you're talking about something like a high baffle metal mouthpiece. If you're a beginner or intermediate saxophone player and you're trying to use one of those, you have a very low chance of getting a good sound. In the beginning, you want a pretty user-friendly mouthpiece that's just gonna give you a nice sound pretty much no matter how you put the air in the saxophone. Now, obviously, as you become a better saxophone player and you can control your air a lot more, you're gonna be able to experiment with more high-end mouthpieces and go for the sound that you're looking for. But getting a super high-end mouthpiece when you're not ready for it will not improve your sound. It will actually probably make you sound worse. So when it comes to your mouthpiece, make sure you're getting a mouthpiece that is appropriate for your playing level. Now, let's talk about reeds. When it comes to reeds, you have so many different varieties and so many different strengths, and a lot of them have a different scale when they're measuring their strength. So it's really tough to figure out how to even compare a reed. But when it comes to a reed, there's really no right answer. It depends on how you're putting your air into the saxophone and what type of gear you're using on your saxophone. So when we're talking about reed sizes, we're actually talking about the strength of the reed and how easily it vibrates. So the lower numbers mean the reed is gonna vibrate a whole lot easier, and the higher numbers means that there's gonna be more resistance. Now, one isn't better than the other, and a higher number doesn't mean that you're a better saxophone player than if you use a lower number. It all just depends on the gear you're using and how you're putting your air through the saxophone. For example, on my alto, I use a Legere American Cut 2.25, which is on the softer side of reeds. And on my tenor sax, I use a Legere Signature 3.25 when I'm doing performances because my gear on the tenor is set up way different than my gear on the alto. So when it comes to reeds, you're not really looking for a specific size. You're looking for the reed that gives you a little bit of resistance, but is really easy to play. Now, if you're a beginner, you wanna start off with a softer reed, like a two or a 2.5, just because you're not gonna have the breath support or the embouchure strength to support a reed that that's much stronger. Now, that doesn't mean that as you get better, you're gonna to graduate to a 2.75 or a three. That just means in the beginning, you're gonna need a softer reed, and you might stay on that softer reed for a long time, especially depending on the rest of your gear. Reeds can be really tough because there is no correct reed size for any level of playing, except for beginner, you wanna start off with a softer reed. Once you're an intermediate player and you know how to get a nice sound out of the saxophone, then it all comes down to per personal preference. The good news is when it comes to your saxophone, you can start off with a pro model saxophone. That isn't gonna hurt you. You're not really gonna feel a difference between the beginner saxophone and a pro model saxophone until you're an intermediate player and you know how to get the air through the saxophone. But learning on a pro saxophone or a beginner saxophone is gonna be pretty much the same. So playing on a pro level saxophone is not gonna make you sound any better until you're in the intermediate or even later intermediate stage of saxophone playing. The second big sax gear mistake is buying gear thinking that it will make you sound like another saxophone player. So if you buy the exact same saxophone, mouthpiece, ligature, and reed as Kenny Garrett, and you put it all together and you start playing, you will not sound like Kenny Garrett. You will still sound like yourself. So a lot of people think if I just buy this mouthpiece or I just buy this reed or I just buy this saxophone, this will make me sound a whole lot better and make me sound like saxophone player XYZ. It doesn't work like that. Now, if you buy 
of mouthpiece with a high baffle, it's gonna give you a bright sound. So if you're looking for a brighter sound and you like a saxophone player with a bright sound, that's gonna get you in that realm of sound, but it's not gonna make you sound like that saxophone player. When it comes to getting a saxophone sound, you have three variables. The first is your air. That just means the way you're putting your air into the saxophone. So how fast it is, how tight the airstream is. That is a very big variable in your sound or any sound of any saxophone player that you have heard. The second variable is the language, and this is another big one. This comes down to the articulation, the dynamics, and the actual notes that you're playing. Now we could break that up into a lot of other subcategories, but that's a broad view of your language, meaning the stuff that you're doing as you're playing the saxophone. And the third is your gear. Now don't get me wrong, gear has a really big effect on your sound, but it's gonna affect you differently than another saxophone player because you have all these other variables. And a big one is the way you put your air through the saxophone. So if I play my saxophone, I'm gonna sound like me. If I play someone else's complete saxophone gear setup, I'm still gonna sound like me, just a slightly different version. So when it comes to your personal sound, it all has to do with your air, your language, and your gear. So buying the same gear as another saxophone player is not gonna make you sound like them. And the third biggest saxophone gear mistake is changing your gear around all of the time. This is something I run into often when I have a new student. They'll come in for the first lesson and they'll be playing one mouthpiece. Then the next lesson, they have a different mouthpiece on. Then the next lesson, they have a different ligature and a different size reed and so on and so forth. If you are constantly changing your gear, you're never gonna get a really good sound. You need to have consistent gear so that you can figure out how to get the air through the saxophone and how to get the sound that you are going for. Now that doesn't mean never change your gear, but my suggestion is take three or four weeks and find your favorite combination and then play on that for four to six months. Stay really consistent with that gear so that you can really work on your tone and figure out your sound. After four to six months, if you wanna change some stuff out, spend another two to three weeks finding the combination that fits, fits you best or that you like best, and then play on that for another four to six months. And then keep working on your sound. If you do that, you're gonna get way better, way faster, because your gear is gonna be consistent and you're gonna be able to figure out how to get your air through your saxophone. If you are constantly changing reed type and reed size and mouthpieces and ligatures, you're never gonna figure your air stream out. And that is the most important part when it comes to figuring out your saxophone sound. So the three biggest sax gear mistakes that you definitely wanna avoid are one, playing on gear that is not meant for your playing level. Two, buying gear to try and sound like another saxophone player. And three, constantly changing out your sax gear so that you don't have a consistent setup. Thank <laughs> you.